Hello, this is me trying to talk with you from my new working space. Can you imagine? Um, I will tell you about my working space in the next video. And for now, I just wanted to quickly show it as a teaser. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe, please, and leave a comment if you like. It's me here, Vera Golosova, an artist who resides in Spain now. In this first part of a two-part Vlogish Beast, I would love to welcome you to a new year and also show you the art project that we started with my friend. The end of the project will be in the next vlog, so I would greatly appreciate if you hit the subscription button right now. This year began for me with very interesting experience. I had my first ever artificial nails done, which seriously restricted my ability to do almost anything. This act of self-restriction was kind of a metaphor for ultimate slowing down. I didn't really want to show off with the end of the year results or equally I didn't want to start a year with a hustle of extra productivity. I have a tendency to overbook myself, to spread myself thin, so slowing down as wishful as it is eludes me sometimes. As I find it very very interesting to live this one and only life that I have. So I had to do everything very slowly and carefully. It was even irritating sometimes, let me tell you. I couldn't do some things that I took for granted, like typing on my computer, for example, so I kind of had to leave my thoughts brewing inside of my head. Just did some short notes sometimes to not forget things completely. This is why I didn't dispatch any newsletter so far. I was restless, yes, but it also felt very, very right thing to do. So that's very artistic experience of me having my first artificial nails done by my artist friend Jenny. And next we plan to do repotting of my new plants with these things. I am for the moment really afraid to just hurt myself with these things. Hope it will work. I can do ASMR now, like a proper beach. Да, да, я классики ты. И вот я думаю, они достаточно длинные, я думаю, чтобы рисовать нормально. Ты не готов еще. О, фак. Фамилия последних слов. О, фак. Hello. Reveal. 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 Show me. Дело оставь на губах. Nice. You like it? Now you have built-in castanetas. Yeah, a bit scared to be honest, but we'll see how it works. It's gonna slow me down completely. Any inconveniences so far? It's really hard to go to pee. Yeah, like that. Oh my god. I want to do ASMR immediately when I have things like that. Try now. Let me show. I think we need to turn off the music first. <laughs> Let's do that. So it's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time for my ASMR with such nails. It's my show. This is this is the acrylic acrylic from from Berlin. My friend brought it. Makes the sound maybe. <coughs>
I was extremely lucky to celebrate New Year's Eve with loved ones. My immediate family, our co-leavers, a close friend of mine from Moscow and the family of my friends who arrived to winter in Spain from Berlin. Only three months in a new country and we had a festive table for eight people for the New Year's Eve. I don't really celebrate Christmas, it's not a big deal in Russia. My main holiday is winter solstice for my own spiritual practices and New Year's Eve for family and friends. I know how fortunate I am. I think that I charge my power banks of belonging and love to the fullest, really. We shared a lot of laughs and goofing around, but also deep conversations and vulnerability. So what are we doing? We are doing paper clay. Oh, nice. Is this your first time doing this paper clay? This is my yeah. maybe second time, but the first maybe one was a, when I was a fifth grade. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Or like yeah. almost the first time. Oh, cool, cool, cool. She's making the thing. I didn't do a lot of drawing lately, but we started a big paper clay sculpting madness with my friend Jenya, and I show you the beginning of it here. The rest will go to the next vlog, because otherwise I thought I will never finish this one. It was absolutely self-indulgent project, which brought me a lot of joy of co-creation and it will be a sweet reminder of that vacation time later. Sharing projects like that and ideas like that mean a lot to me. They don't really bring me income directly. Last year I launched Buy Me A Coffee for all my activities and I will remind you of it from time to time. If you like what I do here or on Substack, you may consider supporting me. It will take some time for me to talk about it without shyness or a certain level of cringe, it's very complicated to talk about self-worth, money, income, and stuff like that. I believe it becomes a little bit easier with practice, so we will see and we'll check it out, okay? Buy Me A Coffee has various options of how anybody can support me via one-time donation, or membership, or contributing to my gear update wishlist, or going to my online digital shop, where for now I have one free or pay-what-you-want position. But there will be more. Buy Me A Coffee even allows commissions, and I do client work too. It is an interesting journey to be a self-employed artist. Never stops surprising me. So yeah, I will talk about it in the future for sure. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next one. YouTubers usually have this catchy phrase in the end. I don't have it yet. Oh well.